go through a few examples of how you do this. Not going to do every question, but we can do a few representative ones. So, uh, all right, this one. How much energy in joules is required to melt 185.3 grams of water ice at temperature zero degrees Celsius? Now, understand, temperature is not changing. You're just doing a phase change because melting is a phase change. Now, when you do a phase change, temperature stays the same, which means... Q equals MC delta T will not work because your delta T is zero. It just stays, temperature is at zero degrees and staying at zero degrees, so it's not changing, which means zero, which means this does not work. So don't even try to use it. Instead, what you want to do is look at, okay, it's ice, so you're going to be dealing with the heat of fusion. This is for when ice is melting or freezing. Use this 334. Notice it's joules and grams, so you're going to get an answer with joules, that's good, and grams, so you're going to have to take the joule per gram, and if you times it by gram, then gram will cancel gram to give you joules, that's good. So, let's do that. 334 joules per gram, we can put a 1 just to fill in something there, and you can either have it times 185.3, or you can do 185.3 grams times this, and it is H2O. I guess I'll put the chemical identity just because. Um, either way, whether you put this here or put it here, you get gram cancel gram to give joule for your answer. So that's how you know you're doing it right. So 185.3 times 334 equals that number. 61890.2. Now, how are you going to round this? Don't worry about that because you didn't use it in your calculation. You just used this heat of fusion and the mass. Notice this is four sig figs, this is three. So you're gonna round this to three sig figs. Now this has to be scientific notation anyway. So this is 6.18902 times 10 to the power of one, two, three, four, times 10 to the fourth. So that's joules. Sorry, I forgot to have the joules there. You always have a unit on all your numbers. Never have a number without units. So let's round that now, and that is going to be 6. 1, 9 times 10 to the 4th joules required. All right. Let's look ahead at some other examples. and Maybe I'll do this to make it easier to maneuver the paper. Okay, so we will do 9.7a. How much ice in grams can you melt with that many joules of energy? So uh, you can do the same thing. You are going to notice no Q equals MC delta T because it talks about a phase change. Never use Q equals MC delta T when you see this. And then also it's no change in temperature. That's another reason you know not to use Q equals MC delta T. Instead, you use the molar heat of fusion, which was given on top. Sorry, I don't know why I said more. The heat of fusion, just the energy to freeze or unfreeze water. So, um, you have 334 joule per gram, and you've got 749.6 joules. So you got to figure out how to make joules and joule per gram cancel out to give grams. This right now would give joule squared per gram. That's really bad. So instead, what you want to do is you want to take your joules... And then instead of timesing joules per gram, because that would just be joule squared per gram, flip your joule and gram upside down. So instead, have it say joules times gram per joule. Whoops, that's not a joule. Gram per joule. That way joule cancels joule to give gram for your answer, and you get an answer with grams. Right? And again, just flip this around to get this. Now, when you plug the actual numbers in, Joule has this number attached, so 749.6 Joules times, and then Joule and Gram comes from this right here. Now, 334 Joules per 1 Gram, so make sure it's if Joules is on bottom and Grams is on top, make sure it's still 334 Joules per 1 Gram, like this. Once you've done that, Joule cancel Joule, and it's basically saying this times 1 divided by 334, so 7... Oops. 749.6 divided by 334 equals 2.244311377 grams of uh, ice. Now, uh, let's round for sig figs. Notice this is what you use to calculate that. Four sig figs, three sig figs. So that's 2.24 
grams of ice melted. Oops, I can't spell melted apparently. There we go. And of course, box your answer. All right, now let's look at, okay, so let's look at 9.8 um, or 9-8. You would follow the same path as above. The only difference is now you would use the heat of vaporization instead of the heat of fusion for the questions. So it would otherwise look just like what was done in 9.7 for the example. This one also would follow a similar example, except now it's just in terms of energy. So in terms of this one, you would use 2,260 joules per gram of water as your vaporization energy. And the same thing here, 2,000 260 joules per gram and then in this case you just you're given 496.5 grams or sorry joules and in this case you're given us 46.7 grams of water so if it's asking for joules you just make sure that these cancel to give joules for your answer if it's asking for grams then you need to figure out what to make these cancel to give grams for your answer so just as earlier you would be flipping this upside down and then times you to make sure it all cancels and that would give you an answer and then here, you would be doing the, um, this one's fairly simple, actually. If you, this is, I just wrote down what we had, but look, if you times these by each other, gram cancels gram and leaves joule for your answer. And so let's see what that would come out to, by the way, just out of curiosity. 2,260 times 46.7 is that, 105,542 joules. By the way, uh, let's see, let's turn that to scientific notation, 1.05542 times 10 to the fifth joules. And then, uh, let's see, we got three sig figs here, because no decimal means that last sig that zero is not significant. So three sig figs, three sig figs, so we round to three sig figs. But this is three sig figs, don't forget that. So um, that makes this 1.06 times 10 to the fifth joules is needed to vaporize it. And then here, keep in mind, you're going to round your final answer to three sig figs on account of this, because that's four sig figs. So, all right, hopefully that gives a good overview of how to do that one.